I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So. so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're sir, not criminals! Please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you saying right here? Oh, man. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, You know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Victorville, California, where we find a frauditor that I affectionately nicknamed the Sheep Boy. Yeah, it was Sheep Boy. We used to have a Goat Boy. Got rid of him. Now we got a Sheep Boy. Yeah, well, he likes to harass police officers for some reason, and he's stalking a female police officer. Now, why in the world would you do that? Well, I can answer that. Because frauditors have no common sense. Well, there you have it. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. Hey, what's up, people? This is Sheep Show, and I am born again, and this is a real quick cop watch for you in the city of Victorville, and this one is hot off the press. I recorded this one uh, not more than an hour ago. Her front plate is obstructed. You can't see it. Yeah, what's your name? Can I help you? Yeah, I just answered you. What's your name? So right off the bat, we notice this guy is not playing with the full deck because when you go up to an officer, you normally ask for a name and badge number, not just a name. And this officer feels intimidated. I know she does. Female officer. A guy walks up and says, what's your name? I don't know. Sounds like you're trying to hit on her. You're trying to get a date, sonny boy. I'm at <clears throat> Is there a reason you asked me if you could help me when you don't want to help me? I am asking you to help you. And I just told you what I wanted. What is it that you want? I want your name. What do you need my name for, sir? I don't need your name. You asked me if you could help me, and that was my answer. Okay, that's fine. Have I know day, it's sir. fine. Have a good day. Oh, you're not going to identify? You know it's a violation of your policy, right? My bad. My bad. I can't see it from here, and I can't get it from the camera because this is... I need your name to file a complaint on you for fa for failure to identify uh, pursuant to your policy. These frauditors really irritate me. All they want to do is file a complaint on hardworking people. What in the hell is wrong with these guys? Really? What is wrong with them? I think they're just pissed off because they can't find a job and they don't want anyone else to have a job either. Is that what it is, sweetheart? How how can I call when I don't have your name when you when you don't? Videotape my unit, correct? So 
Okay, what's that? Go ahead and get that information to dispatch. Well, why won't you just follow your policy? I didn't write the policy. Okay. It's not my policy, it's yours. Why don't you just follow it? I read it. Can it doesn't I assist you with anything, sir? Yes, you can give me your name you so that I can file it. You can Are get you having an emergency? Oh, you're going to go the 5150 route? No, I'm asking if you need anything. You'll get you you get immediately you sued for that if you go the 5150 route. That's not what I'm asking, sir. Oh, okay. other than me providing you with my name. Do you require any kind of assistance? Because I think I've clearly and plainly articulated what I wanted from you, and I think I've clearly and plainly okay. articulated so that that's part of your wrong, policy. I do apologize, officer, but this is the only way the lad can meet women. He has to approach them while they're in their squad cars and have nowhere else to run off to, and he's trying to get a date with you, officer. Yeah, it's a shame, but that's the way it is. If if you'd just give him your name and phone number, everything would be okay. And yeah, you understand, don't you, officer? He's fifty-one fifty, no doubt. Can I help you, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't hear My you. My name I... is Deputy Larocco Halls. Can I help you, sir? Oh, okay. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Have a great day. You have a great day as well. Now you're probably thinking like I was the first time I watched this that it's all over and he's gonna go about his business but you'd be wrong the same way I was wrong because he's not finished he's gonna walk down here and find her and continue to harass her hey I'm gonna cut through some dead air but let's get to that part shall we a few moments later originally I thought that it was just a few bad apples <clears throat> and to be fair and to be truthful and to be honest uh, I have encountered more good than bad 1659117 I have encountered more good than bad out here which is a good thing now the frauditor just told a huge lie. Did you hear what he said? To be fair, to be honest, to be truthful. All words you're not familiar with, you pathological liar, piece of shit, frauditor. Yeah, what the hell is he babbling about? But he's not done with the officer yet. She's going to put down her window for round two. Let's uh, see what happens there. It shouldn't be that difficult to uh shouldn't be that difficult to get rid of the bad ones I'm pretty sure that's the pig that stuck her uh, pig hooves on me over there in the city of Atalano can I assist you with something sir? I'm sorry? can I assist you with something? like what? is there a reason why you continue to follow me and videotape? yeah What's the reason? I'm not required to articulate any reasons to you. How do you spell your name? Sound it out, sir. I'm sorry? Sound it out, sir. You seem like a very educated man. No, I'm not educated. I know how to read, though. <sighs> She's definitely a pig. I think you good people would agree with me that a mind is a terrible thing to waste. However, in this lad's case, it's too late. It's already been wasted and there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, he's got all day to go out and fraud it because he's unemployable and just waits for his government check on the first of the month. That's how it is. Definitely a pig. If there ever was a pig, it's definitely, definitely that one. We got wait for the camera. Give us that little propaganda wave. You know you're dirty. So pretend like you're not dirty by waving to the camera. 
Your gas can is open. Your gas cap's open. Let's see if she pulls me over out of uh to retaliate against me. Woohoo! Well, there you have it, folks. Another idiot who likes to harass female police officers. It's really something, isn't it? Yeah, it takes a big set of kahunis to harass a female police officer. But you better watch it, sonny boy. Because I met plenty of female police officers who could kick your ass. Now, that would be a sight to see, wouldn't it? Not to worry. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Katie racist. Oh, racist, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Really, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah, in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You, you just assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Salami hala handula, alu akbar, haknui kanda kra, ula wala fufatai.